Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a crumpled piece of paper in Blender 3D. In this tutorial I'll be going over how to simulate the crumpled paper and how to give it a material that is paper-like so it allows a little bit of light to shine through. It's actually not that hard. Um, and creating a crumpled piece of paper is actually a little bit difficult if you think about it because um, normally like the first thing you probably think of doing is going in and I don't know like adding a UV sphere or something and then extruding edges but that doesn't really look like crumpled paper I mean looks just ugly so what you're actually going to be doing is simulating the uh, piece of paper like cloth using a cloth simulator and I wish there was a paper simulator that would be neat but um, we're gonna be using a cloth simulator and I didn't come up with this like process myself I actually watched a tutorial um, that was made for 3ds max but I'll and I'll have a link in the description if you want to see that one that guy also went over how to animate crumpled paper, but I'm not going to be doing that. I'll just be showing how to model it. So, first of all, we need to give our cloth simulation uh, some actual geometry to work with. And, um, first, like, you could just subdivide it all, but, and, but I found that ends up looking, I don't know, too triangular after, like, all the creases look triangular. Um, I mean, if you convert it to triangles, which you'll have to do anyway. So, I found the best way to do is just to cut it up. So, I'll just do a quick bit like this. And, cut. and just do crazy shapes all over the place. doesn't really matter, as long as it's random enough. Um... And we'll add a few subdivisions. Oops, we need to cut this guy because he's an ends on. And cut this guy. And that guy. And that guy. Alright. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a cough today. So, we're going to subdivide once more. And cut this up a little bit more. Alright, that looks pretty good. I mean, obviously, you could go in here, add this to a vertex group, and then, like, decimate it. And that's what I did for the uh, thing you saw at the beginning. Uh, that's what I did to give it um, more organic creases. So I see what I mean. But um, I don't really uh, have time to do that in this tutorial. So I won't be. Um, but that's what I did. I just assigned them to a group. Assigned a new group. And I go in, decimate that group specifically. And try and get it. And get my other arm back. So. It ends up looking better and more organic, spider webby um, than if you just uh, go in and subdivide everything. But anyway, we'll go along with this. This is actually not too bad. And um, so we're going to add the cloth simulation. And I found using leather, uh, I'm sorry, denim works pretty well. And it it like simulates fairly well like paper um, but you're gonna need to up the gravity a lot so it squishes up and you're gonna need you can enhance the cloth collision but that doesn't really help too much you want a lot of self collision quality there because it will be folding up and 
Yeah, I turned down friction a little bit. All right, looks good. Mm, yep. Then we're gonna create the bowl, which we're gonna drop it into to squish it up. Since gravity's up really high, it'll really push it down really fast. Um, let's, what's this then? Make a little uh, uh, hole at the bottom so it like really squishes up there. And oops, move this to be smaller. And we need this to have collision. Oh, that's pretty good. Works pretty well. So we're gonna go. Let's see. Uh, soft collisions weren't enough. Look, it's like spiking all over the place. Let's turn up more soft collisions. Let's try this again. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that better. Right here. Let's hide this and see what it looks like. Um, okay, that's pretty good. Um, we can delete. Oh, wait, that's why. It's not. <laughs> Alright. Well, if that's happening, if it's falling through, you can turn up this uh, setting, the inner outer width. In the collision settings for your uh, bowl, and we're gonna just zoom in. That didn't fall through. Good. And let's see what that looks like. Uh, oh, lost animation. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I like um, that. That's good. Hi. So now what we're gonna do is apply the cloth. Wait, oh wait, it did fall through. Trap. Let's try this again. <laughs> Can't. Okay, that looks good. And let's hope it didn't fall. Good. Let's delete the bowl. Apply cloth simulation and center it. Okay, so now we're gonna give it a more spherical shape with uh, Shift Alt S, and we want we want it to be roughly spherical, but don't make it all spherical, otherwise it looks fake. Um, maybe a little bit more, and if you go too far, it sometimes will have the vertices poking through themselves. We don't want that either, so um, that's pretty good. Mm. Uh, let's now just smooth it. And yeah, it's pretty good. Um, now, the next thing we're going to have to do is add an edge split modifier because we're going to be wanting to make some sharp creases, and edge split will find those edges that are sharper and we're gonna apply it and then tab into edit mode and select non-manifold edges which are basically one vertex thin edges and they're like at, at the very edge so if we do that it'll grab a bunch of stuff and you're just gonna sharpen that to 100% with the crease and um, yeah, we're gonna subsurf modifier, oh, and remove doubles. And now if we add subsurf modifier, it has like these nice sharp edges in it, look really cool, and yeah, it's pretty good. And we're gonna go one more layer of that, select sharp, uh, and just give it not 100% crease, but we want to give it some crease. And turn on the hue surface. Yeah, it's pretty good. Apply. And then you can go in and uh, try to fix them manually if you want. But that will take a while. So I won't. Um, but it looks pretty good from a, from a distance, which you probably want. You probably won't have it too close. Um, 
sometimes learning to simulate turns out better. But uh, this wasn't as good. Oh well. Um, so that's a pretty good piece of crumpled paper. I especially like that bit right there. Um, and let's give it a backdrop. Subdivision, smooth, and we're going to move the camera. Oops, uh, that's in there. Alright. Yeah, I think this is the best angle of that, of that, that, this object. And so let's give the world a an environment map, which I think I have one somewhere. Maybe not. Uh, no, I don't know where it is. Just a sec, let me find it. So I found an image that will work. Um, 